Plans for a massive jail expansion in Dakota County, Nebraska, went before voters this evening. KCAU 9 reporter Jason Toktasian shares what feedback county commissioners received in our top story tonight at 10. Tim, no formal action was taken at tonight's public session, but if the opinions shared are any indication of how Dakota County Commissioners might vote, the project appears to be on solid ground. As the community grows, there's going to be more jail space that's needed. And this looks like the perfect opportunity for me to look down the road and not drop this on our children and our grandchildren to pay for it. Larry Broadstead is one of dozens of Dakota County residents to back the long-awaited jail project at Wednesday's public hearing. In fact, the nearly three-hour session failed to produce any negative debate. You want them to build a prison somewhere outside of Dakota County and miss out on all that good stuff that goes with it? That doesn't make any sense at all. The Dakota County Chief Deputy says the $3.5 million expansion would mean more than 100 additional beds. An agreement with the U.S. Marshal Service would help pay for the project. The per diem to temporarily house federal inmates would increase from $60 to $85 a day. Currently, there are 20 federal inmates housed in the jail. So this is a good way for the county to have a revenue stream that is very unique because right now we don't need it. But the feds do, and they're willing to pay for it, and we sit in the perfect spot to do it. The numbers for revenue are conservatively configured by the county clerk was about a million dollars a year revenue for the county. The expansion plans first were discussed a few months ago, but when questions arose concerning finances, three commission members voted against moving forward with the hiring of a project manager. It's time that we trusted their judgment and proceeded with the jail expansion. We should all be pretty honored that our Dakota County has been presented with this opportunity. It's not going to happen everywhere. And I'm just concerned why we're dragging our feet right now and then going to spend a lot of money if we don't do take the deal. And the feds have been honest with us the whole time. The Board of Commissioners will consider the public comments and could vote up or down on the project as early as its next meeting, Monday, January 10th. Jason Taktagian, KCAU 9 News.